Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Carnival. The report was first published on our website Friday, June 24, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question, should I buy or sell Carnival? In this video, you will get insight into the technical and fundamental situation and future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since April 26, 2022, our system ranks the Carnival stock as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 1.236. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 38%. This is an average return of minus 0.90% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Carnival our last headline reads, Big movements in Carnival stock price on Friday moving 14.77% between high and low. The Carnival stock price gained 12.44% on the last trading day, Friday, June 24, 2022, rising from $9.65 to $10.85. And has now gained four days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the day the stock fluctuated 14.77% from a day low at $9.48 to a day high of $10.88. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a minus 7.5% loss for the last two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 37 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 85 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $923.96 million. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $28.23, and the lowest price was $8.70. Right now the price is 61.57%, or $17.38, below 52-week high and 85.08%, or $61.85, below all-time high January 30, 2018 where the price hit $72.70. The stock lies the upper part of a very wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good selling opportunity for the short-term trader as reaction back towards the lower part of the trend can be expected. A breakup at the top trend line at $11.59 will firstly indicate a slower falling rate, but may be the first sign of a trend shift. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 49.45% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 54.28% and minus 36.80%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 35.89% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 40.37% and 24.34%. This equals a price between $6.47 and $13.49 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From analysts Carnival stock received a general buy rating. The analysts give P-E ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Carnival stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Carnival. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Thursday, June 16, 2022, and so far it has risen 24%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short term development. The Carnival stock holds a buy signal from the short term moving average, at the same time, however, the long term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long term average is above the short term average, there is a general sell signal in the stock giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long term moving average at $12.60. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the short-term average at $9.70. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a sell signal. 
Pivots gave a buy signal 6 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal 35 days ago. The short-term moving average for the 3-month chart gave a buy signal 4 days ago. The long-term moving average for the 3-month chart gave a sell signal 43 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the 3-month chart gave a buy signal 42 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see short moving average gave a buy signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average gave a buy signal 48 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 80 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Carnival On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $9.91 and $9.60. There is natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Carnival finds support just below today's level at $9.91. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $9.60 and $8.75. This stock may move very much during the day, volatility, and with a very large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be very high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $1.40 between high and low, or 14.77%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 8.08%. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Carnival meets first resistance at $11.05. If you do not hold Carnival shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Carnival finds first level of support at $9.91 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Carnival is buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On May 25, 2022 Weissenberger Randall J made an inside buy of 100,000 of common stock. On April 8, 2022 band SIR Jonathan made an inside buy of 9,541 of common stock. On April 8, 2022 Cahilly Jason Glenn made an inside buy of 9,541 of common stock. On April 8, 2022 Diebel Helen made an inside buy of 9,541 of common stock. On April 8, 2022 Gearhart Jeffrey J made an inside buy of 9,541 of common stock. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 70.398. In total, the insiders bought 2,693,792 and sold 11,032,740,363 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Carnival stock a buy? Carnival holds several negative signals and we believe that it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We, therefore, hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Monday 27th we expect Carnival to open down negative 45 cents and start trading at $10.40. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.